Okay. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. And this is going to be, we're going to look into to see exactly who is hating on you or who is sending hate towards you. I want to congratulate all my beautiful Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there. Virgo season is here. So congratulations, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are uh, celebrating your return of the sun, congratulations. It is Virgo season now. So we're going to begin here with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward and allow us to see here. Sons beyond receive the messages loud and clearly for Virgos. Let's see who is watching them, who is hating or sending hate towards them. Give us clear indication. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. And teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, as the likes helps to be recommended to other people that are watching YouTube. So I appreciate you guys' support. All right, let's get into it. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see who is watching you, who is hating or sending hate towards you. All right, my lovelies. You guys let me know if you like this background. If not, we can always change it. All right, we're beginning here. We're beginning with the Queen of Swords. We are looking at the Four of Pentacles here, the Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. All right, uh, Virgo. I see someone really looking closely at you. They could be watching your social medias. They could be looking at or even asking about you. Now, this is a female energy. Could be air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, this is someone that feels like you either infiltrated or that you connected to someone that they either were very overprotective of. Uh, this is giving me the edge, um, the sense, sorry, not the edge, <laughs> giving me the sense that could be an ex-partner or a person that you may be dealing with right now. Um, this is someone that's connected to their past. And they see it as, like I said, you infiltrated or they feel like you came in and took their light, basically. They feel like you took the center stage or like they are in constant competition with you. They see you as competition. They see you as what keeps them late at night, tossing and turning. Um, I feel very strongly like if you are currently dealing with um, someone that you're getting to know or maybe someone that you've been dating, if they've came out of some type of long-term relationship, if they're telling you that the ex doesn't really want anything to do with them or that they are not like that they've moved on basically, perhaps they have, but I feel like the person from their past has not let go of the situation and they are constantly, constantly trying to challenge your partner or the person that you're dealing with in the sense of trying to show you in a dark way or in a bad light. Um, I see, you know, this is a person that is very much uh, ruled by ego. This is a person that could be very nasty, um, a person that could, you know, talk out of their ass. They're not being completely honest. Uh, it's a person that likes to tell stories, you know, that where they exaggerate, um, so I would suggest if you have social medias, if possible, keep them private, at least for now, because I do see that a lot of the information that they're getting is from your socials or, um, maybe even close people close to you. And what I mean by close to you is as an example, if they haven't friended you on a social media app or something they probably are trying to add family members of yours or relatives so that they can be able to see um, a little more about you, but not necessarily making it obvious that they are watching you. And again, I feel like this person hasn't moved on. They are holding on to uh, your person or the person that you're talking to or that you're dealing with. Um, this is, it's definite, it's a definite X. So Again, um, Queen of Swords with the Four of Pentacles, they feel like 
you know, something was taken from them and they are trying the best they can to bring them back to them, to lure them back to their life, um, even at the cost of deceit or lies. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now moving along. Let's see what's going on here with uh, Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Revealed to us who is watching or hating or sending hate towards Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, definitely like, share, and comment. Let me know so that I can keep them coming for you guys, okay? All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating or sending hate your way? Who is watching you? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right. We have here the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Magician, the Two of Cups. Oh, okay. <laughs> Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay. So I wouldn't necessarily say hate. I feel like it's giving me more like stalker vibes. Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Magician. They're trying to manifest you back into their lives. Um, they feel like they have a missed opportunity with you. It could have been a person that you were dealing with on an emotional level or that you connected with. Um, perhaps not much came from it. Um, I feel like they dropped the ball and there is, could have been that a lot of things were going on in their life. Uh, whereas now they're a little bit more stable and they're wanting to manifest you back into their lives or they're trying to connect with you in some shape, way, or form. I do feel like they've tried to reach out, whether it's through text or whether it's through calling you. If you've received calls and no one is in the other end, it's them. They just don't know. They haven't been able to build up the confidence or they haven't been able to build up um, the courage to actually speak to you. But I do see them very focused in wanting to reconnect or wanting to reach out to you. Um, for some of you guys, this has more to do with them watching you versus, like I said, I don't see hate here. I do feel like there is almost this feeling of wanting to reconnect or wanting to make things right. Um, so again, it could have been someone that you were dealing with in the past romantically or that you were emotionally invested in. Um, things could have not progressed the way you would have hoped. With the Ten of Wands, I feel like they felt that they were dealing with a lot in their lives, whether it was not having financial stability or just stress and burdens of having to deal with a family dynamic. Um, but I do feel like they're wanting to reconnect. Page of Pentacles does indicate to me the desire and want to communicate. And again, Pentacles is an energy that takes a while. So I feel like Maybe they, you know, try texting you and then they delete the text. They don't send it or they call you, but they don't speak on the other end or it's a private number. Um, but they will build up some type of courage and they will be communicating. I do want to point out, do not be surprised if they do contact you when they're drunk. Um, I feel like they have to be, uh, it's kind of like liquor courage that they're trying to get, um, I do see it could potentially be a person that you're dealing with that perhaps had some type of like they like to party or maybe they like to drink a little too much. Um, but that's the energy that's coming through. Again, I don't feel hate. I feel like it has more to do with feeling like it was a missed opportunity that you will be hearing from them at some point this month. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, who is watching them, who is hating or sending hate towards them. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios, who is watching. Oh, okay, we got cards flipping out. We are going to take them. We have here the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Let me turn this around. All right, the Temperance, Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting here for you guys, uh, Scorpio, 
I feel like there's someone, okay, so I'm getting two different things, but uh, the first thing that came through is someone in your workplace or in the work field, um, someone that works close to you. It could be uh, a coworker. Um, I feel like they put a lot of attention towards you. Um, I feel like it has a lot to do with, um, I wouldn't necessarily say hate. I feel like it has more to do with like jealousy. Um, and they could have potentially had like a very strong connection or some type of bond with a higher superior. Um, I feel like the moment you came in, or it could be that recently, you've been putting a lot of work and a lot of effort and people are starting to notice. When I say people, we're talking about people that are in higher positions. So they, because they were close to that supervisor or that lead or your boss, whatever the situation is, um, the boss or the person that is in a higher position could have spoken good about you where they started to feel threatened. So I feel like it has more to do with jealousy. My advice is sometimes, uh, something I tell my clients, sometimes it's important to play stupid only to make people think, like to underestimate you. I'd rather people underestimate me than to know exactly what I'm capable of doing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to outshine other people, especially people that are in high positions. You don't want to make them look stupid, but you can allow them to rely on you, to get used to you, because the more useful you are to them, the more they, you become a necessity for them until they literally can't do anything without you. And then that's when you ask for the raise. That's when you ask for the higher position and they will oblige. Why? Because they know that you are an asset to them. So I feel like if you play your cards right, you're going to go far in your career or whatever it is that you're doing right now. Um, but I would be mindful of the people that are around you, especially if you know exactly who they're talking about right here. Someone that was close to a boss or a higher superior and the superior could have said or mentioned something about your work ethic or your performance where it started to make them a bit jealous, a bit threatened. And I feel like they're watching your every move waiting for you to fuck up. So don't give them, don't give them that. You know what I mean? Like play your part and make it seem, if you know exactly who they're talking about, make it seem like even if you have to play dumb to make them think that you're not trying to continue growing or you're not trying to, and then, you know, pick the right moments where you can step up and shine on your own merit. And this is going to open more opportunities for you. They may try to, you know, throw some type of shade or jealousy. However, I feel like you're smart and you know exactly who they're talking about if this is resonating with you. Um, so again, also don't feel threatened when it comes to feeling like there is, uh, if work, as an example, if you're used to doing overtime and all of a sudden it's been declining or you're no longer doing overtime, don't feel stressed about it because there are cuts or they may already be doing cuts. However, they are releasing or letting go of people that are just lazy. And obviously Scorpio is not lazy. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Keep uh, keeping your nose to the grindstone. Try the best you can not to necessarily trust um, or be completely open with your coworkers because I do feel that there may be a few that are a bit threatened by you. All right, my lovelies. Okay, moving on here. Let's see what is going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is watching you, who is hating or throwing hate towards you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. We have the Hierophant, sorry, the Hermit, the Sun, the Eight of Swords, the High Priest, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, interesting here. 
All right, Sagittarius. So I feel like there is a someone that you are connected to. Uh, this could be someone that you are either in a relationship or that were in a relationship at some point. Circumstances or situations became difficult. And uh, some of you guys could have recently broken up or recently gone your separate ways or recently giving each other some space, some room. Um, what I'm seeing here is I feel like there is almost this need to make you feel less than what you are. So what's coming through for me is Okay, the person that is constantly watching you or you may be in communication with could be an ex-partner or a person that um, there was some type of recent separation or giving each other some space. Um, and I feel very strongly, I'm going to be honest, I feel like there was or could have been some mental abuse in this connection or in this relationship. And I feel like they thrive they feel better about themselves when they see that you're having difficulty or when they feel that you are going through it. As an example, you could not, like you could have recently separated or give each other some space, um, but yet you still keep communication open and you constantly tell them like what you're going through or the difficulties. And I feel like their ego gets inflated because they want to feel like you need them. So I would advise you if you are communicating with them or if you are still in contact with them, but there is not necessarily a wanting to work it out. You don't know where you're at right now. You don't know where you stand with them. No, and understand that this is a person that has a lot of insecurity issues. This is a person that likes to manipulate certain situations or make makes it seem as when in reality they're not that um they're not that straightforward or they're not that honest okay i feel like they try to manipulate you in the sense of making you feel like you still need them uh whatever situation you're currently going through if this is resonating with you and you are let's say you have light contact with this person start to pay attention to the way they speak to you. When you're telling them a problem or when you're telling them what you're going through or whatnot, they're very quick to make it seem like everyone else is against you. Like the whole world is against you. Um, and they may even like go for the throat. So to me, the throat would be like, they come at like my family, like making comments about the family or making comments like, you see how they treat you different. It's just a form of manipulation so my advice, obviously, this person doesn't have genuine or true uh, feelings for you, or they're not a, a, um, authentic with you when it comes to their feelings, because a person that cares for you, that values you is not going to thrive or want or care more about inflating their ego to feel like you need them. They're going to look out for you and give you advice to best of your interest. And I don't feel like that's the situation. So though they may not be throwing hate, what they're actually doing is keeping close eye and contact on you because they don't want you to move on or they don't want you to heal or to feel strong like you don't need them anymore. So be mindful of that, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns, my Cappies. Who is watching them or hating or throwing hate towards them? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have tons of new videos coming through for you guys, as well as a bunch of spell work. I literally have like 30 videos coming at you guys. Um, so don't forget to follow us. Okay. Here we go, Cappy. Let's see what's going on with you. We're starting off here with the lover's card, the four of swords, the six of swords, the 10 of cups. Okay. The page of cups and the knight. Okay. So off the bat, I can tell you, it's not necessarily hate. It's a person that hasn't moved on from you. 
So this could be an ex-lover. This could be a partner if there is some type of distancing or if you guys are in different locations or uh, different country, perhaps for some of you guys, a long distance relationship or a relationship that recently came to some type of conclusion or giving each other some space. I don't see you guys being in the actual relationship right now. So it's someone that you did have a relationship with in the past. Um, I feel like they could have potentially dealt with either they stepped out of a relationship or they went to find what they thought the grass was greener on the other side um, quickly to realize that no one treats them better than you. Uh, no one cares for them the way you did Capricorn. And I feel like there is a desire to want to rekindle the relationship. So it's not hate or anything like that. What I do see is actually people um, wanting to connect with you, wanting to reconcile if there was some type of separation or breakup, especially for some of you guys that have children. Uh, if you had, you know, if you have children with an ex-partner, I feel like they could have what you thought could have been that they moved on. They realized they made a mistake and there is a desire to want to come back or to want to win you over. I do see them actually taking action and wanting to. This could be either professing to you, hey, Capricorn, I haven't moved on. I you know, apologize for the hurt or the pain that I caused, but it's really hard for me to move on when all I want to do is try to work it out. Now, for others of you, I see someone that's coming towards you, and this could be specifically for those of you Capricorns that are single. I do see someone really watching you very closely. They are interested in you. It was, um, it's almost like I'm seeing, you know, certain like social medias um, that are coming to mind. I'm not going to mention them, but I do see someone closely watching you, and I feel like this person is really wanting to get to know you. They could have potentially reached out to you or messaged you. Um, you could have lightly responded or answered. Uh, if this is something that recently happened to you, just know that that person that reached out to you is genuinely wanting to get to know you. But I feel like they feel like you weren't interested. And we all know Capricorn. Sometimes you guys can be awkward. So uh, if it was something random like, hey, or you're pretty or you're, you know, you're cute and you didn't really like actually try to make conversation, I feel like the reason why this person was so basic in their message has more to do with the fact that they're intimidated by you. This is someone that really admires you or someone that is really fascinated, like physically attracted to you that they don't necessarily know how to go around it, but they're trying to connect with you. Um, again, like I mentioned, this is for those of you guys that are single. Um, what I am seeing is I do see that they will be trying to reach out again, or if they haven't, don't be surprised if some random person messages you uh, on an app or something and tells you that they are interested or that you're prettier, that you're cute. I feel like it's going to be a compliment that has to do with your beauty. Um, don't see it as something weird. I feel like that they're just, they're just trying to feel you out. They're trying to like, you know, break the ice. And I just feel like they're sucking at breaking the ice. Um, so yeah, it's going to resonate for all of you guys very differently. All right, let's move on here. That's the first. I don't see someone hating on a Capricorn. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on here with Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, who is looking, looking at you, who is throwing hate or hating on you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's watching you, who's hating on you, Aquarius, or who is sending hate towards you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Okay, we're starting off here with, ooh, the lovers. The Seven of Wands. The Four of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay, some of you Aquarians are connecting with a Capricorn or you Capricorns may have some type of placement in Aquarius. Could be moon or it could be rising. All right, so what I'm seeing is, again, for some of you guys, Aquarius, if you are connecting or have an ex that was a Capricorn, 
watch their reading because it may resonate. I have a lot of cards that were pulled out for Capricorn for you Aquarians. So what I'm seeing here is I do feel like you could have recently uh, either blocked or broke up. I feel like it was, if you recently came out of a relationship, Aquarius, I feel like for some of you guys, it was, it wasn't a pretty breakup. It wasn't like a clean break. I feel like they're very much in their feelings and you can you could have potentially blocked them. I feel like they're trying to come back. Um, they're trying to reach out. They're trying to connect with you, but I feel like it's in a petty way. I feel like as an example, it's kind of like that text that you get like, Hey, you left your bobby pins in my apartment type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, um, I found, you know, your sweater. Where do you, do you want me to take it to you? Do you want to come and pick it up type of thing? Um, it's petty. I feel like it's just them wanting to um, come back into your life uh, or they're wanting to see. Now, here's another thing that I'm getting, Aquarius. If you have an ex-lover or someone that you dated with in the past, if you have them blocked, know that without a doubt, they have either added you or they have created fake accounts and they have tried to add you or watch you because I do see them watching you, but I feel like they're under a disguise. So it could be a fake account or it could be um, just someone that randomly tried to add you. They're trying to get the lowdown of what's going on in your life. This person clearly has not moved on, um, but I don't see them taking any type of responsibility. I feel like... Um, they're trying to like butter you up in the sense of like being lured back into your life, but they're not necessarily taking self-responsibility. Uh, hey, Aquarius, I messed up, um, but I still care for you. I still love you. Let's try to work it out. I don't feel that. I feel like it has more to do with like, they want to make you be the one to accept or to want them to come back, if that makes sense. Um, so again, if you recently blocked or those of you guys that actually do have an ex that is blocked. I guarantee you that this person is watching you either through a fake account or you could have added someone that was not real. And it's the ex lover that is trying to come back into your life or watch everything you do. But I don't see, like I mentioned, I don't see any type of like, let me take responsibility for what I did. I feel like they are they're still in their feelings about you. They still care for you. They do have love for you, but I feel like it's something that they just don't want to admit to themselves. Um, but there, there, it's like, I see them like trying to throw the bait to see if you catch it. So don't be surprised if, you know, if you unblock them and all of a sudden you see that they, you know, are messaging you, or if you don't have them block, they could potentially be texting you or begin to text you again about petty things where you may feel like you need to uh, back up or block them. And if you do get to that point, know that they will not, they're not going to stop trying to look into your life and see what's going on. All right, Aquarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see what is going on with Pisces. Who is hating on Pisces? Who is watching Pisces or who is sending hate towards Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is watching Pisces? Who is hating Pisces? Or who is sending hate towards Pisces? All right, here we go. We have here the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Ooh, child, the seven of cups, page of swords, six of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so off the bat, what I'm seeing here is a lot of animosity. Um, For some of you, Pisces, if you recently got into some type of argument or some type of even physical altercation with someone. Um, so I'm getting multiple things here. One of the things that I'm seeing here is uh, someone that you could have trusted in the past um, that was in your life, uh, whether it was a, a lover or whether it was a friend or a dear friend to you. Um, 
I feel like you guys started having a lot of arguments or a lot of a lot of fights. And I feel like they were confusing you or you felt confused about the situation. It's always giving me the energy of like when a friend of yours snaps at you and you have no idea why and you're questioning them. And then they start to throw things about the past that was like a year ago or like two years ago. And you're like, wait, what the actual, you know, are you talking about? Like, you told me you were fine. You told me that we were going to let bygones be bygones. And all of a sudden you're throwing that in my face. What's happening here is that there's a lot of animosity and a lot of anger that was built up that there was like, could have been potentially that you guys never addressed certain things. And all of a sudden they are vomiting, telling you all the awful things that you did to them. Not saying that you did do awful things. What I'm saying here is that what I'm seeing is someone that was holding a lot of grudges, a lot of things that um, they just felt very angry towards you or felt anger towards you. Um, for some of you guys, this could be relatives. This could be a person that you were close to. Um, I feel like there was constant, what's the word I'm looking for? There was constant competition between you, even though you were never aware of that competi competition or whether you didn't acknowledge the competition, but you kind of sensed it. You kind of felt like they were constantly judging you or they were constantly criticizing you um, until it got to the boiling point where there could have been an altercation or there could have been some type of major argument that you guys kind of parted ways. I feel like this person is definitely still angry. And I'm going to be honest with the page of swords and the six of pentacles, this person envies the fact that you are a giver or the fact that you are very blessed. And the reason why you are blessed is because you have a good heart, Pisces. Um, there is something that they envy about you that holds value to you, but it's not that you do it on purpose. It's that that's how you are. That's the type of person you are. It's kind of like that saying goes that, um, what triggers what triggers us the most about people sometimes is a reflection of what we need to work on ourselves. So I feel like this person envies and is jealous of certain aspects about yourself, but it has more to do with the fact that they know they don't possess that, whatever it is, whether it's your um, loving heart, your giving heart, uh, whether it's you doing for other people and the universe continuously keeps blessing you, whether it's your finances or the way you live, there is something that in inherently this person hates about you, but it's not like you go out of your way to, um, to hurt them or to make them, you know, have that type of anger towards you. I feel like in your head, you're like, what the hell? Like, I had no idea that they were holding all this anger towards me. Um, but it's a built up frustration from the fact of maybe perhaps things that you've achieved and accomplished that they haven't. And maybe they're resentful of that. And in reality, they're not necessarily resentful to you. They're resentful to themselves that they didn't make it happen. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the hater energy. Uh, a hater usually hates, um, not necessarily because they hate you, but because they see something in you that they don't possess. And that's where the envy and jealousy comes from. Okay. All right. Very uh, nasty energy, I'm going to be honest. All right, moving along. Let's see. Um, Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is watching Aries? Who is hating on Aries or sending hate towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, oh, okay, we got cards flying out. All right, Aries, we have the Hermit. We have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands. Oof, hostile energy here again. Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with 
a Pisces energy. Uh, some of the cards that we pulled out for Pisces are coming out here in your reading. Although I am getting a very different energy here. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is for some of you, Aries, you have a very close relative. Okay. This is someone in your bloodline um, that feels or has a lot of anger towards you. Uh, could have been because at some point they felt like you left some type of responsibility or they feel like you were selfish in some shape, way, or form. Um, I feel like you've become secluded or maybe a little bit more private than usual. And they don't necessarily, they're n there's not a closeness right now between you and this person. Uh, for some of you guys, this is a female relative um, that doesn't necessarily know a lot about what's going on in your life. And I feel like they continuously keep spreading rumors or talking out of their ass about what's going on in your life without really knowing. But I feel the reason why they feel this anger towards you, right, is because they feel like you put them in a position where they took on some type of responsibility where they felt like it was your responsibility. Um, there's no judgment here, Aries, um, but it is coming through as them feeling like they had to take on some type of responsibility or what they felt, quote unquote, was your responsibility. They take they took on that responsibility and, it, and they're seeing you or viewing you as the selfish one, as the one that uh, does whatever they want and you're selfish and you only think about yourself. And that's where this anger and animosity is coming from. For some of you guys, this could be a sister um, because I am seeing it's in the bloodline. It's a female energy, but it is also coming through for me. For some of you guys, it is a sister. Um, so it's kind of the situation of, as an example, you know, we all have obviously family, um, sisters, brothers, whatever. Um, and though you may love each other and, you know, really care for each other, sometimes, you know, sometimes you guys just don't see things or don't see each other eye to eye. Sometimes everyone has a different, you know, it's like they say every head is a different world because everyone has or views life in a very different way. And I feel like this person is very judgy or is very critical or has been very critical in your life. And I feel like that's where this anger is coming from. It's like, they hate on you because they don't know exactly what's going on with you, but they feel like you are selfish and you've never sacrificed, not implying that you have an Aries. That's just what come, what's coming through. That's how they view the situation. So this is definitely someone that does have a lot of like anger, frustration, and animosity towards you. Um, I'm sure if this is resonating, you know exactly who this is. My advice would be to definitely cleanse yourself. Um, because with the seven of cups, the five of wands and the eight of swords, it does indicate to me very, very heavy energy that could create a bit of chaos or a bit of blockages in your life. So I would highly encourage you guys to get a cleansing. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Who is watching Taurus? Who is looking at Taurus? Who's hating or sending hate towards them? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is watching you, Taurus. Who is hating on you or sending hate towards you? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. We have the three of pentacles, the magician, the full card, the ace of, wow. All right, Taurus, <laughs> no negative juju here. <laughs> very, very positive energy here, Taurus. I feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like you are, like something is about to happen in your life. There is this feeling of excitement, of the world is yours of the possibilities are endless type of energy. If you are feeling like you're getting a burst of energy, know and understand that those that are around you right now, Taurus, the people that are in your life right now, this is even including connections and relationships that recently have come to an end or that you have parted ways. 
Know and understand that this is the universe having your back. This is the universe opening new pathways for you, opening new opportunities and bringing to you the people that is right for you, my lovelies. You guys are definitely being guided right now. You guys are definitely being protected. Three of Pentacles indicates to me uh, being in a collaboratory type of energy. Those that are around you or those uh, that are close to you are having the same goals, the same aspirations, or very much in alignment to your energy right now. Magician and the Fool, there is definite uh, manifestations coming through for you. Also, very, very strong what's coming through. If you guys are in the process of manifestations, and people close to you, you're speaking to them about it. It's like this whirlwind of energy that is in alignment. There's this huge vortex that you are aligning yourself to. And those that are around you will, de will definitely benefit or will definitely also experience manifestations coming through. The Ace of Wands with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. Love and work opportunities are coming to you, Taurus. Um, again, if there was recent uh, breakups or separations or falling out of, you know, friendships, et cetera, know and understand that this is perfect timing. It is the way it's supposed to be. Why? Because the universe is opening up opportunities for you. It is opening up a new world for you, Taurus, and it's time that you know you deserve it. It's time that you tell yourself, I am worthy. I am worthy of making more money than I've ever made. I am worthy of love and, you know, unconditional healthy love. I am worthy of happiness and I deserve it. Um, really, really align yourself. I see a lot of manifestations coming through for you guys. So I don't see any negative. I don't see any X's. I don't see none of that. What the universe is basically saying is that you are in the path or on the path of manifestation. Those of you guys that are like, huh, this is not making sense. Know and understand that moving forward after you after you hear this, you're going to start to experience a lot of synchronicities or you're going to experience a lot of things that are going to open up your eyes to the possibilities of what you're actually capable of manifesting or what you're capable of bringing into your life if you just give yourself the opportunity to receive. All right, my lovelies? Powerful energy here. One of the most positive readings. All right. Moving on here, we're going now to Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, who is keeping a close eye on Gemini, who is hating or sending hate their way. Revealed to us, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share, comment. Let me know. Let me know. All right, we have here the King of Swords, Three of Cups, Magician, High Priest, Eight of Cups. Oof, okay and the page of pentacles very interesting okay gemini i feel like you have a feminine energy around you um this could be a sister this could be an aunt this could be a cousin female energy that has constantly um chosen other people over you. So what I mean by that is with the king of swords, uh, very critical, very judgy, three of cups indicates to me a group. So it could be, you know, like I said, a family member or family dynamic, but it is definitely someone that is either connected to your family or that you're very close to. Um, as an example, you would be very close to uh, your brother, right? And let's say your brother has a friend. Well, that person, um, even though you've done, you know, you've been there for them or you've been a good friend to them, this could be a, a very close friend of yours as well, Gemini, um, or someone that you've trusted at some point. I feel like there is a lot of energy, um, of, a lot of energy of like spending time with them or being in your friend circle 
or again, if you are the type to be constantly around family members, I feel like this could be a friend of a family member, but it's someone that you've been there for, or that you have considered a friend at some point in time, or that you trust it. I feel like this person has constantly chose you or chose other people over you. Um, and the reason for it is because they are generally speaking here, there is something about your personality that they wish they had. I'm going to be honest. It's almost like, um, as an example, if you're constantly, whether you want to or not, Gemini, we all know <laughs> the majority of you guys just aren't, you know, naturally get attention, right? Because that's just your energy. That's just your personality. There may be someone that is intimidated by you or that is intimidated by your personality or the fact that a lot of people give you attention or that you have, uh, you know, that a lot of people respect you or that are close to you. I feel like this person is someone that is connected to you or a family member or a friend of a family member that pretends to be your friend. But every chance they get, I feel like they jump into the rumor train they like to over-exaggerate. They like to be very judgy and they're constantly judging you. And I feel like at some point, this person has let you down. Um, and the reason for it is, again, like I said, I feel like they feel low-key they're in competition with you. I could be the most loving person to someone, right? And I'm giving them all that love and, oh yeah, I'm always here for you. And then you tell me or spill me all your beans. And then later on, I turn around and tell, you know, a friend of mine or someone that is in our, in our friend circle, you know, things that you were telling me and I exaggerate because I'm so much in a mission to make you look or come out to be the one that's wrong or the one that, uh, is doing wrong. Um, like I'm on a mission to make other people see what I see. And what I see is that to be honest, that person is jealous of your personality. Um, so it's like they're on a mission to try to make you look like a bad person, even though you're not. And if anything, I feel like you've trusted this person at some point. But right now I see you very reserved. For some of you guys, it could be some type of recent um, fallout that you had with whether it's a family member or a close friend of yours. If there was a recent falling out, then they're definitely speaking about this person because they're telling me. It is someone that you trusted, it is someone that you thought was a friend or that had, you know, your interest at heart when in reality, they're just trying to make you look bad. And the reason for it is because they either envy your personality or your physical attributes. Like they find you to be uh, beautiful, even though of course they would never accept that or they would never say that. Um, I feel like this person is very judgy. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, as an example, what I'm hearing is if I, you know, if my friend tells me, or if you were to tell me, Gemini, how does, you know, how does this dress look on me? Or how do these pants look on me? Um, and you look bomb and you look amazing. But if I'm hating, I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? I think it's, you know, I think, you know, brown doesn't go with you or green doesn't go with you or pink doesn't go with you. Like, and it's not necessarily that it doesn't. It's just that I'm finding ways of like making you not accepting the fact that you are shining, if that makes sense. It's almost like they hate the radiance that you possess. So this could be personality. This could be your physical, you know, your physical features, or it could be someone that constantly is criticizing your features, then you definitely know who this is. But again, I feel like in reality, they just envy or see something in you that they wish they had and they don't. All right, my lovelies. I got kind of um, overwhelmed there for a minute with all the information. All right, moving on here, we're going to look at Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is watching you, Cancer, who is hating on you, or who is sending hate your way. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is watching? Oh, got cards flying out. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of the Year, 
the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Star card. Oh, and the Star card. Okay. Hmm, this is interesting here. Okay, so who is watching you? All right, Cancer, I see an Earth energy could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy, female energy here. Um, okay, so I'm getting two different stories here, two different storylines. For some of you guys, um, if you were dealing with someone that was in a committed relationship or in some type of relationship, and perhaps they led you to believe that they were single. I feel like this female energy is uh, definitely someone that is watching you very closely and they're like literally doing whatever they possibly can. And I know this is going to sound horrible, you guys, but for those of you guys that recently found out you're dealing with someone that is either in a relationship or um were kind of uh, not necessarily broken up, but they were having like relationship issues or whatever. I feel like the person that you're dealing with did emotionally get invested with you, meaning that they do care for you. And perhaps they weren't necessarily like that deceitful. Um, if they told you that they were going through a separation or that the relationship they had wasn't working out, they were telling you the truth. But I feel like this person is extremely sneaky and very deceitful and could have potentially made up some type of pregnancy. Um, and when I say made up, it's like I do, I see nine of cups here, the wheel of the year with the seven of swords and the star card. It's like I feel like I'm losing this person and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to bring them back. That's what I'm sensing here. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but with the star card. If it's not revealed, it will be revealed that it's not true. It was a lie. It was a, um, you know, a coward move. It was a move to try to lure them back or force them to come back. Um, so if that this is something that is resonating with you, I know it's not going to re resonate with everyone, but if it's something that it's making sense to you, know without a doubt that the person was... Uh, not necessarily lying. They were being honest about it, their relationship not working out. And if they recently went back to that person, it's because they're under the belief that either this person is pregnant or that there is something that was lied to that they're trying to lure them back. But I feel like they will get caught. They will find out. So do not be surprised if you are dealing with this, that the person comes back around and tells you how sorry they are and that they're willing to try to work it out with you. The reason is because they feel like that responsibility has been lifted because they come or it comes to the light that it wasn't necessarily true. Now, for others of you, there is someone that has a lot of anger and a lot of animosity towards you because of the way you shine, because of the type of person that you are. Um, and it could have been potentially someone that either you loan money to or someone that at some point was financially struggling and you kind of did them a solid or you did them a favor and there could have been some type of like argument. Um, I'm seeing like if you started struggling or going through difficulty and you're like, hey, remember that money that I loaned you? Like, and they got so offended or so like offensive or defensive about it. Um, I feel that the reason why, you know, it's kind of like when they when someone it's I've seen that meme on Instagram where they ask or where they, where they say, um, when you ask someone for money, uh, give them the same energy back when they ask you for that money. You know what I mean? Like that type of energy. I feel like you could have done them a solid. doesn't have to be financially. It could have been that you were just there for them or that you were a good friend to them. Um, however, I feel like they just hate on the way you shine or they hate the fact that you've turned your life around. Um, again, I feel, I'm going to be honest, for some of you guys, I'm getting 
that anger and jealousy started happening because perhaps you were having difficulties in the past. At some point, something about your life made them feel better about their life. And you, there was some type of switch or there was some type of turnaround in your situation where you started to progressively become much more stable or succeeding. And then they had an issue. You know what I mean? Like it's very different where you are around certain people, right? And believe it or not, sometimes people that are very insecure will have certain type of friendships around Um as an example, if it's a person that has always been financially well off, you know, they like the, the, the remembering or the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, feeling good about themselves by either making other people feel less or constantly being reminded that they're doing way better than you are. And the moment you start to do good or the moment you start to rise, they become threatened. They become uh, very insecure, obviously, because that was their number one insecurity, right? Um, this is to me, it's giving me the energy of like small dick energy. If you know what that means, it's kind of like the, you know, the man that has a big ass truck, uh, they, they constantly have to like, just outshine everyone and make themselves. And the reason is because they're trying to, you know, um, they're trying to make up for what they lack or they're trying to stand out uh, because other ways they wouldn't be able to stand out if that makes sense. So that's the type of energy I'm getting. Could be someone that, again, like I said, was okay when you were struggling or when you were having difficulty and then all of a sudden it became an issue when you started doing good. For some of you guys, it could have been a friend that was used to you being single and all of a sudden you got a relationship or you're in a serious relationship and they have a problem now with that because um, perhaps they were the ones that were used to getting the attention or the friend that always had a boyfriend or a girlfriend and all of a sudden you're taking that energy or that attention away from them. It's like they feel threatened and it's jealousy more than anything. All right, moving on. Finally. My lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on here with Leos. Who is watching Leo? Who is hating on Leo? Or who is sending hate towards Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, definitely like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can find all of those links on the description box below. By the way, the soaps are coming, you guys. Uh, we have been sold out <laughs> every time uh, we get restock, we sell out very quickly and it is a process to ritualize and um, charge all of the herbs and ingredients that go into the soaps, but all the soaps will be coming back. I will be announcing when they're ready to go. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is watching you, who is hating on you, or who is sending hate towards you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All righty, here we go, Leo. We have the Six of Swords, the Hermit, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Karma, and the Moon. Ooh, very interesting, Leo. Okay. I don't feel that there's any hate uh, that they're sending to you. If anything, I feel like there is someone that has recently been on your mind, Leo. And the reason why they could have popped into your head out of nowhere. And you're like, wait, what the hell? I feel like because this person has uh, obsessively been thinking about you lately. This is a person that you were either in a relationship with or created some type of uh, home life. So this could be an ex-partner. This could be a person that you're living with that you're no longer with, or this could be a person that you were, uh, getting to know and things didn't progress. Um, I feel like there is a desire to want to come back into your life. They are constantly reminiscing about the past and they still feel confused about certain things. Um, I feel like more than anything, they, they, they're constantly questioning or wondering if there was ever any genuine or authentic uh, feelings for them. Um, so it could have been potentially a relationship that didn't end very well. Um, 
where they kind of were left feeling, was it ever real? Did Leo ever care for me? Because they see it as you came off very cold and you completely distanced yourself or completely walked away. It's almost the energy of like, they assumed that after the separation or breakup, something would they thought they knew you basically. They thought they could predict what your actions were going to be. And it was quite the opposite. You're like, okay, this is not working out. I'm moving on or I am going to find what I deserve. And I feel like that's what's really irking their soul right now. I feel like they feel like they took a misstep. They feel like it was a missed opportunity. There is desire and hope to want to bring you back. I feel like they constantly relive, uh, relive the past or as an example for you, Leo's out there, if you've been separated or broken up from someone, even if it's been four, five, six years, and they're still single, the reason why is because they're still clinging on to the past. They're still thinking of you. There is still like what could have been type of energy. It's like they constantly um, compare you to other people or compare you to people that they were dealing with or could have potentially been dealing with lately. Um, it's almost like a rude awakening for them because I feel like they felt very secure or very sure of you. Um, whereas now they're realizing they dropped the ball and there is a constant reliving of the past or hoping or wondering what could have been. Um, yeah. So they're all up in your energy, Leo. So like I mentioned, if recently you've been thinking about this person or a person from your past is popping into your head, don't think for a second, oh, I'm, it must mean that I'm missing them. No, it's that they are literally in your energy because they're constantly thinking and obsessing about you. And that's the reason. So it has nothing to do with you. It has more to do with the fact that they still have energy connected to you that makes you feel or that when they're constantly thinking of you, they pop up in your head because they're thinking of you. It's not you, it's them. Uh, with the moon card here, I would not be surprised if they're looking at your social medias through fake accounts, um, or even if you're getting texts late at night and or calls late at night with a private caller, it's definitely them. They are trying to find some type of way of even hearing your voice is what I'm hearing. Even if they don't tell you anything, they just want to hear your voice. That's how kind of obsessive they are. Um, but I feel like they will not reveal that and they will not reveal that they know they effed up or that they know that you were the best thing that ever happened to them, Leo. But it's definitely someone from your past. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, let me know. Sound off in the comments and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye.